welcome back to Hello Geovival. Today I'm joined by someone that I don't think until this point has actually ever made it onto my YouTube channel. Though we have filmed videos together before, but I looked yeah. like an idiot, so I never put them up. Well, like the only bit that I've kind of made it on was like your previous video when you come to the UK and I picked you up at the airport. There was like a second of me, maybe Which video less than a second. That? The one where it's your journey out to Oh, England, you, you mean the, right yeah, now? Yeah, the most recent thought, Oh, okay, okay, okay. So anyway, so this is... My gun. Hello, my gun. Hello. Hello. So, um, my gun, who are you to me? I am your boyfriend. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to have rapid fire um, questions. Where I'm going to ask him questions. He has to answer very quickly. So are you ready? Yes. What is your name? Mike Gurn. Okay. Where are you from? From Birmingham. All right. In what country? In England. Sorry. In England. What do you do for a living? I'm currently a cover supervisor at a secondary school. Oh, okay. So, teacher. Teacher, yeah. Yeah. What's your color? Blue. What's your book? I don't know. What's one you really like? All of them. Okay. Game of Thrones at the moment. All right. What's your favorite movie? Fast and Furious. Fast and Furious, yeah. What's your favorite TV show? How I Met Your Mother. What is your favorite girlfriend? You. <laughs> okay. Uh, where did we meet? We met at camp in America. How many summers did you work there? I worked there for three summers. There is somewhere that you think you would like to live, even if just for a little bit, that's not the United States or the UK? New Zealand. Mm, yeah. What, besides New Zealand, where is somewhere that you would really like to visit? Brazil. What's your least favorite thing about being in a long distance relationship? That we don't get to see each other every day. What is one of your, I don't want to say favorite, but what is something that you like about being in a long distance relationship? That I've like managed to improve my communication skills, which is one of my like goals for raggers, so I'm hoping I've achieved that. For anyone that doesn't know, Raggers is a program that some YMCA camps participate in. It's really just meant to be like um, goal setting, goal setting, self motivated program. I am actually not a part of Raggers, though I do appreciate it for people that are a part of it. Like Mike, um, what is your ideal job? Uh, PE teacher, gym teacher. Don't you want to be a um, like head of year or some, or not head of year? Well, that's of, not that's not my goal at the moment. Like all I want at the moment is to be a PE teacher, and then whilst I'm in the oh, profession, well, should... seeing oh. where, where it goes go. from there, because I might feel I don't want to follow a leadership pathway, and I might want to just be a PE teacher. Stay as teacher. That's cool. Um, what's your ideal age to teach? Um, probably like 14, 15 year olds. Really? I thought you would say like 11 or 12. I don't know why. I just made that well, up. Well, I'm not preferring the 11 to 12s at the moment. Mm -hmm. like, it's good to work with them, but they can be a bit annoying at times. I just feel like 14, 15 year olds yeah. is like an age you can like really get on with and get to know better. Because then older age groups, they're kind of like wanting to finish education and get out and don't really care. Yeah. So 14, 15 is that like, perfect age, I think. Yeah, I 11, 12 can be a tricky age, but that's also, I like like 11, 6th grade, I like 6th grade, 11th, 7th grade, home of the territory. Yeah. Um, uh, if you hadn't studied PE at university, what would you have studied? I think psychology, but I never like studied that at A levels, which I kind of wish I did now, but part of my course was sports psychology and I really enjoyed that so I feel like I enjoyed regular psychology as well and I'd like to do that. Yeah. What is one of your favorite things about life in America? When we're in America? Food. Food. Like what? Um, burgers, steaks, yeah, barbecue, barbecue stuff. I, I really liked barbecue, barbecue when we went to Austin mm. and that place we went the first day. I can't remember what it's called but I really enjoyed it there. That burger place that's in Bullock Homes? That Park. Yeah, it's the one where we went in and then we got bread and meat. I can't remember which one it is. Yeah, wait, it was like a burger place. It wasn't a burger oh, place. Oh, 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 it was a barbecue place. Yeah. Oh my god, I'm blanking, I'm blanking. Yeah, okay. What is one of your favorite parts of life in the UK? 
that sometimes we have nice weather like this where it's not too hot, it's not too cold. Yeah. Um, what do you think is going to be one of our biggest struggles when we eventually decide to live in the same place? The visa process, yeah. trying to get us to live in one place is going to be expensive and difficult and probably a quite a long process. Yeah. Uh, what is your ideal age to get married? Probably like 27. And um, how many kids do you want? Three. Yeah. Two, three. Yeah, summer. Summer. Yeah. Uh, what? Why did you hear that look? Yeah, because I knew you would say something different. No, I don't know that I... I think that I like the number four, but that's a lot of kids. Yeah. So, who knows what life has in store. Stir. Store. Um, what is one state in the United States that you would like to visit that you have not yet visited? California. Okay. Not like the busy I thought you'd parts, been to like, California. No, I've never been oh. to California. I'd like to like, because it's such a big state, yeah. you can have like different seasons in a day. Yeah. Basically. What is one thing you miss about camp? I don't know, working with Neil, that Neil's not there anymore. Our friends? Friends, yeah. I mean, I know I'm asking these yeah. questions, but I feel like our friends. Yeah. Um, That's why I said Neil. <laughs> Neil. He misses Neil. <laughs> um, what is one of your favorite places that you've ever visited? Like, out, no, it doesn't be outside of the UK, just like, obviously not like Pine Hill, New Jersey, or here. Um, Niagara Falls. No, because I didn't know that I'd be allowed to. Yeah, no, true. What is your favorite American crisp or like savory snack? I don't really like crisps in America. No? Crisps. Are what's your terrible. favorite what's your favorite British crisps? Salt and vinegar walkers. Mm. Wait. Yeah, and Me too. McCoy's flame grill steak. I really like that as well. What is one of your favorite things that I cook for you? Everything. There's no wrong answer to that. You could have said one thing. I don't know. I just like everything that you cook. Oh, okay. Um, what is your favorite thing? One of your favorite things to do, like, in your downtime? Going for a run, doing exercise. What is your favorite part of being in a relationship with me? That we make each other happy and help each other improve in everything we do in everyday life, basically. Oh, okay. Um. What's your favorite thing to drink? Water. What's your favorite alcoholic thing to drink? Guinness. What is one of your favorite things to do? And that can, you can interpret Play because... board games. Yeah? Because like, no. you have your family like in. Oh, yeah. Like a villa or. Yeah. What's your. Whatever you've booked and just play board games. What's your favorite thing to do with my family? Play board games. Um, no, because we don't play board games that much with your family. Just like. Yeah. Sit around the table, talking. talking. I miss that about my family too, because your family doesn't do that as much. And yeah. Like, but that's because your brothers have their own agendas. Yeah. But like in my family, I was thinking about that today. But I miss that about summer at home is like we don't even eat dinner until eight o'clock, and then from, from then until eleven or something, you know, we're just like sitting outside talking and stuff. Yeah. But, um. What are you most looking forward to on vacation next week? Just being able to relax and being out of school because we've just had seven week half term is getting really tiring now. Yeah. And finally, what is the number one thing you are looking forward to this summer? All our travels, so Berlin, Rome. That's all we know right now. Wherever we go from there. We're thinking France at the moment, aren't we? Yeah. So if that happens or not. Yeah. All right. So thank you, my gun, for joining me. Welcome. Um, this has been Rapid Fire Meet My Gun. You will see a lot more of this cute, adorable <laughs> face if you subscribe. The button is somewhere down below. I think. Probably. I don't know where it Not is. Not sure. It is down below on like mobile devices. I somewhere. Don't really know on and laptops. if you like this video and you'd like to see more from us because we have more ideas. Um, give this video a big thumbs up and make sure that you follow all of our travels this summer. So, I am Chris G. With I am Mike Gunn. 
And we'll see you later. Bye. Bye. Why do you say T-H sounds like an F? Because that's how I say it. I'll cut the kiss on.